Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're going to talk about deep structure fishing first. When I talk about structure, I want you to understand that, first of all, that I'm talking about bottom contour changes, you know. A lot of guys think of structure as a tree. Well, a tree's cover. Uh, my definition of, of uh, cover, you know, cover is anything that a fish could use. Grass, you know, wood, rock piles, docks, you know, any, any kind of stuff, stuff that we put in the lake or, or occurs there naturally. But when I talk about structure fishing, now we're talking about, especially deep structure fishing, we're talking about bottom contour changes. We're talking about humps and points and ledges and creek channels and, and all. There's so many little subtle things out there that, you know, and we're going to hit on that a little bit today about what to really look for. Because, I mean, let me tell you where, you know, this is my 32nd year of, of fishing the tour. And when I started, we didn't have, you know, Lawrence carbon 12 units. We had, uh, you know, red line flashers and paper maps. And, and it seemed like just a few days ago that, you know, I was out there with a paper map unfolded, with looking at a, at a red line flasher chart. And, I'm, and, I, and you, had to, you had to be able to visualize. Now what I mean by, and it still is very important, being able to visualize structure. In other words, you're looking at a contour map of, a, of an underwater piece of structure, whether it be a hump or a channel or whatever it is, but you, you verified what you've seen on your flasher and what you, you know, with the flasher, what you've seen on the, on, the, on the chart, on the map. And we're doing the same thing now, and now but it's a lot easier. But I'll tell you, you know, these, these maps, you know, everyone's got one now, you know. If you don't have one, you probably need to go get one. I mean, I'll just tell you. But you got all these maps right on your unit, but there are things that aren't on the map. And that's one of the big deals right now, is on the chip. You know, I found this deal, man. Is it on the chip? No. Dang. Not on the chip. There are little things out there that are, I don't, you can, and you know, I, it varies from lake to lake. You know, one, one set of maps is better than, than another. You know, I, I run Lorant stuff. Uh, Lorant has got some stuff built right in their units. On some lakes, it's good. Some lakes, not so good. You got, so you got an avionics chip. Some lakes it's good, some lakes it's not so good. You go to another lake, you know, you may want something different. So all, there's a big competition now with all the, the electronics companies because mapping is a big deal. My point being, mapping is so important. Big part of structure fishing nowadays is, is mapping, but there are things out there that aren't on the map. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about, I'm not gonna give you a big long seminar about about how I set up my electronics, but I'll tell you, you know, I probably, y'all, Aaron was here yesterday, right? Now, Aaron's one of these, like, gurus. He's, like, got uh, electronics, like, everywhere on his boat. Like, you know, you couldn't walk in his boat for, you know, he, he you know, he's got, like, four on the dash, and one on the floor, and two or three on the rod box. And like, no, not really, but he's got a lot more electronics. You know how many units I run? I run two. I run two. I run one on the console, one on the front. And uh, they're, they're HD 12 uh, carbon, Lowrance units, and I split the screens. And what I run, I, when I'm looking for fish and really out there hunting and, and trying to find fish, because that's really what the story is all about, I run, a, I run a wide angle, you know, all the way across the screen on the bottom, down imaging. Okay, when I'm looking deep, down imaging, all the way across. I split the top screen, sonar, and chart. Pretty simple stuff. And you say, well, why would you run down imaging and sonar? Because one verifies the other. When I see something on sonar, I can verify what it is on down imaging. And at times, I will go ahead. On the console, on the console, that's right. On the console, he's right. When I'm when I'm driving, uh, that that's that's what I run now. At times, yeah, I'll I'll swap out and I may go side imaging, you know, at times. But but 
for the most part, deep looking. When I'm hunting fish deep, it's, it's, I'm on down sonar chart split three ways. And, and in the front, pretty much the same thing. But now I will tell you this, whenever I'm actually kind of dialed in, okay, I'm, when I'm dialed in, I've got some fish found, and I'm trying to catch them, the down imaging on the, on the sonar, the down imaging on the bow usually goes away. Like, for instance, if I'm dropping on fish, now where I'm actually, where I've seen a fish and I'm dropping on them, I, I'm on straight sonar, 2D sonar, 2D sonar. I know what one looks like. Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Subscribe today.